you should buy and what things you shouldn't buy, things you should ask, etc. First and foremost, definitely ask for a picture. If they're not willing to supply a picture, do not buy it. The reason being, it's probably shit. In this day and age, if you don't have a phone with a camera, come on now. That's like the, bull that's like the biggest bullshit they've ever heard, right? So if they're unwilling to take a picture and send you a picture of such said item, do not buy it. It's not worth it. Now, they're going to try and sell you a lot of things because obviously they can't take anything with them. Um, so they're going to take lots of pictures and probably try and sell it to you as a package, right? Be like, oh yeah, you'll get these couches, it's like bed set, this, this lamp, this whatever, like 150, 200 bucks, you know? It's going to sound like a good deal. Chances are it is not a very good deal. Um, the only reason being is because, quite frankly, before they tried to sell it to you, they definitely tried to sell it to the used store. As you know, recycle centers are all across Japan. So if they take it to there, obviously, it's a lot easier for them, right? They can take it there, get money on hand, they don't have to wait for it, no PayPal, none of that. So, chances are they tried that approach first realize that they're not going to get any money or very little money and now they're trying to offer it to you. This might not be all the case. Um, there are some obviously good predecessors but by and large people are after the money. So you got to be really careful. Uh, so once again you want to make sure you get a picture and after the picture you want to decide to yourself what do you really need? If there's any items that you're a little suspicious about definitely do a search on Amazon.jp. You can see exactly how much that brand new item would cost you and weigh the pros and cons versus buying that uh, what they're what they're trying to sell you or just buying it brand new chances are buying it brand new really won't be that more expensive and possibly even cheaper because maybe they didn't buy it online maybe they they bought it at a real store brick and mortar store which is actually more expensive so once again check prices match prices and most importantly haggle Okay, they're in a position where they want to leave, or rather, they're leaving Japan, right? They they have they're in no way have the ability to keep the items, even if they tell you they do, they don't, right? You have two luggages that you're gonna take back with you. How are they gonna take back a couch? Okay, so they have two options: either they're gonna get some money from you, or they're gonna get no money, and then maybe they'll just have to give it away to somebody. But even giving it away takes extra effort, right? So chances are their prices are not set. So definitely haggle. If they offer you one price, offer them a much lower price and try and work out the numbers, right? Because you wanna you wanna max them out. You wanna max your money, right? Um, if you're in my situation, you know when you're coming into on the jet program, you might have a little bit of money saved up, so you're feeling a little bit confident. And obviously, you're going to be worried about coming to an empty apartment, so you're going to be more willing to pay whatever they're willing to charge. But I'm here to tell you, relax, don't worry about it. Recycle centers are all across Japan. You will find one very easily. And Amazon.jp allows you to do cash on delivery, so you don't even need a Japanese credit card to order on that website. And anything you don't have in your apartment, if you order it on such said Amazon.jp, it will come in like two days. Japan is a small country, so you will get it quite quickly. So don't really worry about it, don't fret about it, and save some money. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about it, um, please comment down below. Any questions about any of my other videos, or anything about Japan in general, I will be more than happy to respond. Alright guys, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one. Bye.